Hello everyone, Aaron Rosewater Cards here for another review. Today we're taking a look at the Precision Series Sally. So this is the Precision Series Sally, of course, and I am so looking forward to opening her up right now. As you can see, there's her license plate, 301 PCE uh, Sally, California, February, and 21 on there. Or no, 02 with some word on the side, it looks like a 1. And there is her back, which looks amazing. Uh, a 2002 Porsche 911 Carrera. Uh, 320 horsepower, flat 6 engine, 0 hours 60 miles in 49 seconds, with a top speed of 177, which is kind of close to lightning as well. But anyways, let's kind of get her open. I will open her up, just not... Let me just move the camera like this. There we go. Uh, I will open her up, but I will not, um, undo, like, the screws, which the, she's hold by screws. So, uh... Hold on, I have to do this like this. Okay, got that out of very easily. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy to get the main base out. There she is in the case. She's kind of hot because she's a. Uh, not literally, like she's warm because she was uh, in the uh, car or I'm um, in the mail waiting. But let's take a look at the license plate, which you have to do by just removing this, which is stuck. Ugh, there we go. I hope this isn't stuck like the others usually. There's the license plate 301 PCE. California, February, and two up there. There's the back, which I believe are exactly the same as usual. I'm just gonna. Alright. There she is, right there, and she looks amazing. She's kind of compared to her normal look. There's a big difference. You can actually. Very, you, can tear, t t you can tell a lot. Anyways, let's just try to get her open now. I love her so much. That's totally not weird for me to say that to a car. My gosh, she's amazing. So accurate. Alright, where do I start? She's better than this one, automatically. Upgrade, downgrade, I did a series of that one time. Definitely, 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 definitely upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade for real. Alright. So here she is. She has a nice sound. She's in there forever. Do all the Prestige series have that noise? Where's the PS McQueen? I should have grabbed it for this. It's like. I can just listen to this forever. Okay, this is a bad review already. Okay, so there are the headlights. They're nicely detailed, which actually the Christmas Sally has that. Actually, I keep forgetting to grab some cars for reviews. It's right here. Don't worry. See, the Precision Series Sally actually has those kind of lights and a little orange bit right there. And the headlights back here are also accurate. While, um... This one, it's not. I, I put that red line better, by the way. But look, they're just printed on there. Yeah. The expression is also a lot better. The size is a lot better. Here's the size on this one. Here's the size on this one. You can tell which one looks a lot better. It's more wide on this one. I like the skinny version because it looks more accurate. I mean, McQueen, he's wide. It looks fine on the race car. Until, of course, um, the car's... 3-1. They look actually pretty good together, I must say. Anyways. Um, so here's the roof. It has a little black outline. And there are the windows. As you can see, there's like a little gray dot in there. Kind of see that. Looks nice. There's the back with, of course, the tattoo, which I do not have that Sally. With this part risen up. 
because this one's down. But it looks good with it up, I must say. And of course, there's like little details in there, which is actually her engine. There's her license plate, which we, is exactly the same as this one. There's the wheels. Now, this is the part I do like about this one. The wheels are silver. This one, they're just gray. I might paint them silver. You know, I mean, I could take the tires off, so I don't have to worry about getting tired, but there's that little black detail. You see that black that's not just seeing through, that is actually, um, like, that's actually black right there, like the part of the wheels, which looks really nice, I must say. There's the windows, which is also nice on this, you know, set of this one. This one has gray windows. There's the door handle, while well, this one is just round. You know, when I was a little kid, I thought that was, like, the gas tank. Where is her gas tank? Uh, oh yeah, it's right on the side. Where's her gas tank? This one has a gas tank. This one does not. Is that actually supposed to be there? Because if it's not supposed to be there, then I'm actually a little bit happy because it looks kind of clean, you know? Weird. But anyways... Let's go ahead and wrap up this review, because I think I pretty much said everything. But the main topic, buy this. Buy this right now. If I have to choose one Precision Series car, this one. Out of all of them. Let's just put Mater the next together. I guess I have to put the Precision Series McQueen. I like this McQueen more. I just don't like the Precision Series McQueen as much. It's just a lot bigger, less accurate. The only accurate part is like the paint and, and the hood, but it's exactly the same. I mean, Mattel just did a good job on this McQueen. Nothing really else to add. I mean, if they put all the details onto this McQueen, then, yeah, that'll be also a bit better. But anyways, here's Sally, part of Wave 3, and there's two more cars for Wave 3. Luigi Guido, which are in one pack, and Fillmore, and Flo is in the Wave 4, as well as Red, I believe. And I think there might be one more. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.